Steve. What up, dog? There you two are. What the hell is going on with your show? Oh, my bad. Sorry about last week. Turns out trying to do a show with two cameras was just harder than we thought. I'm not talking about last week. I'm talking about right now. What the hell? Where is everybody? Carla, what's wrong? He's got our third camera. He's broadcasting live from the void. He's trying to hijack our show. Hello? I'm back, baby. You can't sweep me out like a piece of trash. That's my job. Voidcast is live. Damn it. What's Voidcast? It's a dumb name. Yeah. It looks better than our place, though. Don't say that out loud. Okay. <laughs> Look, there's the orb we stole. I stole WCID. This will be a great masterpiece. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, one, two. Most know Mike Eagle's a rapping dude, but y'all don't know that I go to a magic school. It ain't Atlantis, it's La Crescenta. Learning magic is on the agenda. We got special guests that will impress, but shout out to my crew, cause they do it the best. We got Ronnie, Carla, my homegirl Tree, and Danny. On WZRD. WZRD. Hello and welcome to the show. Thank you for joining us today. Hey, Danny, what's up with you? Well, actually, I had the weirdest encounter when I was flying into work today. Do tell. I, well, I was getting on my broom and then... Boring! Are we back? Carla, can you see us? You're back. I'm still rolling. Can we edit this out in post? Not sure. I've never dealt with void tech before. It could be choppy as hell. Let's just try to get through it best we can. Easier said than done. Fucking Steve. Uh, guys, what's happening? Keep cool, Tree. We're just getting pranked by a punk. Should we postpone the taping? Hmm, that'd be the smart thing to do. But it's also exactly what he wants. Screw him. I say we keep going. Well, should we cut to a commercial and regroup? Should we cut to a commercial and regroup? I'm a talking tree and I'm dumb and I smell like dog, dog, dog pee. <laughs> Like this. It's okay, Tree. I've never seen him like this. He's feeding on those tears, Tree. Don't give him the satisfaction. I can't help it. I'm so scary. It's upsetting. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Tree, like... come on. Look over here. Let me do my tree dance. Huh? So hungry, your stomach feels like an ice giant's bottomless infinity well? The wizard's wand has a buffet to satisfy even the most cursed of appetites. For one low price, you and your brood get endless trips to any one of our many enchanted chow trows. Here are just a few of the delicacies available all year round. Eye of Newt, Root of Nightshade, Bad Wings Dried or Fresh, Toad Sweat Jello, Snake Jerky, Cranberries of Cousins, Jade Elmers, Mouth Socket Surprise, Dragon's Claw Tenders, Neighbor's Wishes, Hobo Dreams, Carrot and Raisin Salad, Arbitrary Sugar Slices, Math Cream, Dungeon Fudge, Rice of the Damned, Glimpsing Froth, Plum Rather Rascals, Pudding with Clams, Warm Ranch Dressing, Vanilla Wafers. The Wizard's Wand Buffet Restaurant. How do we keep our prices so low? It's magic. Hey, wizard. I'm Travis Willingham, the voice behind some of your favorite animated characters. Guess what? I'm an alum. Yeah, East Gatewood class of 04 in the house. I'm old. Fun fact, this isn't my real speaking voice. I use a potion. My real voice sounds like this. <clears throat> Anyways, wizard asked me to give you incoming students some do's and don'ts to get the most out of your college experience. Well, here we go. Do talk to the goblins. Right, I know they look like vomit with eyes and smell like an armpit convention, but what they lack in marginal attractiveness, they make up for in charm and charisma. Plus, everybody knows goblins throw the best parties. Ooh, speaking of, don't bring your wand to a party to show off your spells. All right, don't be that guy or girl. I mean, you might as well whip out a guitar and start playing Wonderwall. Ugh. Do bring butterbeer to that shit. It's cheap, it's low-cal, and it's beer that tastes like butterscotch. Why would you ever drink anything else? 
Don't, don't challenge a kid from a seven year school to a duel, okay? I get it, they're jerks. Just walk away. I mean, if you go wand to wand with a Hogwarts kid, you will be lucky to get out alive. Do keep your old wands, right? Don't let a sorcerer find yours in the trash. He's just gonna steal your identity and make you do weird shit that I don't wanna talk about right now. Like, whew, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe later. Dark days, dark days. So listen, just, Trust me, keep them somewhere safe. Or, you know, use them as, uh, as chopsticks like I do when I get takeout. Or maybe don't do that either. And don't let the Dean hump your leg. Remember, he's a person inside a dog's body, not a dog who can talk. Big difference. So. Oh, shoot, <laughs> potion's wearing off. I think that's gonna do it for me. <clears throat> I hope I could help make your time at East Gatewood a little easier. Welcome back. If you're just joining us, we've been having some technical difficulties, but we're doing the best to sort them out, so bear with us. For sure. We're gonna get it ironed out, don't worry. All right, it's time for our first guest. <sighs> Let's do it. Summon, summon up, up, summon, summon up, up, summon up. Coming up, coming up, coming up. Come on in. I thought they normally appear out of thin air. I didn't even know we had a doorbell. Here you go, six foot party sub. Rush delivery. No, dog, you got the wrong house. Well, it's already paid for, so, uh... <clears throat> Enjoy, I guess. <laughs> I got you! I ordered it! I ordered the sub, it was me! But you pay for it, I don't get it. You'll never be able to finish it. It's huge. It's embarrassing. You'll be embarrassed. <laughs> you guys hungry or you gonna start trying to eat that? Oh, oh. there you are. Yes. Well, uh, where am I? You're on our show. Welcome. Just go with it. It'll be over before you know it's simple as a dream. Yeah, I mean, as long as there's no interruptions, we've had some glitches today, so. I was eating lunch. Mm. Am I dead? Is there no more lunches? Mike, did you have a question? Oh yeah, we were wondering if you could maybe help us out with something. Danny and I are familiar with the non-magic human world, but a lot of the students here at East Gatewood Community College are not, and they have questions. Yeah, could you answer some of our viewer questions? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? I mean, I'm here, so. Great, our first question comes from a 19-year-old merman named Devin, who hails from the ocean depths and is studying nautical cloud spells. Hi, Devin. His question is, what is spaghetti and how do you kill it? <laughs> Great question. I can start us off there. Devin, you kill spaghetti by throwing it in boiling water. Whew, I could definitely kill a plate of spaghetti right now. Do you have anything to add? Uh, I mean, it's already dead, it's noodles. I have a question. So you're somewhat of a visual effects wizard. Mm. Explain yourself. Uh, you know, I feel like a lot of what I'm about to say is not just, uh, you know, it's just, it's like, it's like, whoa! <laughs> you know what I'm Magic! Like, Sorcerer! Magician. No, please. Oh, I'm sorry. That was, yeah, that was, yeah, so that's kind of like what we do. You made an anthology series mm. called Dimension 404. Mm. What exactly was in that dimension? Oh, ha, that's a dimension was not found. <laughs> huh? Uh, it was a sci-fi show. Is that like scion fiction? Yeah, no. No? Sci science fiction. Oh. Do you have science in this world? You Definitely. Mm -hmm. What's that all about? It's like wizards that have rulers. Uh, uh, yeah, no, nope. if you got Hulu here, I guess you could watch it. There's a girl in that my class made... named Hulu. You could probably ask her if she has a copy. You made a film called Bear. Now, have you ever fought a bear? No, but that was a very scary experience because we did, we did shoot with a real grizzly bear and I could smell food in your pockets. It could also smell uh, your fear. The bear trainer told us we had a belt with uh, two cans of bear mace. And I asked him, like, as a joke, like, well, what happens if you run out of bear mace? And he, in all seriousness, he's like, oh, run. Oh. Yeah, he did not, it was, yeah, it was very scary. So he could smell the food in your pocket. That sounds like our friend Ronnie. <laughs> Describe your nemesis. 
Oh, my nemesis would probably be like a taller, better looking version of me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like punch good, kick super good. Both things I can't do. Oh, but you can do magic. I mean, that's not a good skill to have. Before we banish you never to return, as a token of our appreciation for being here and helping us out, we'd like to send you home with this six foot party sub. Yes, dog, that's exactly what I've been wanting. Bounce! Also, bounce! Hey, no regifting. Steve, you've actually been pretty quiet this whole time. Thanks for not interrupting our show. Yeah, I ordered one for myself, so what? And guess where the leftovers are going? To you! <laughs> God, this guy's a clown. We'll be right back. Every hour of every day, newts are rendered sightless for use in magic and spells, and sometimes for something as cruel and trivial as a buffet. Are you hungry? Scared and alone, they traverse the muddy banks of streams and bogs, trying to make it to safety, inching along with the aid of nothing but their tiny little webbed feet to feel the way, sometimes they fall in a hole or get eaten by swans. Is this the life you'd want for your child if your child were a newt? For just $90 a day, you can provide warmth and care for a single blind newt, rescuing them from the treacherous wilderness and depositing them in teensy little beds and nudist colonies where they'll live with their caretakers year round. For just under $33,000 a year, you can give one lucky little creature a newt life. Welcome back. Our next guest is not someone you see every day. Cut, Ronnie. Would you mind grabbing a broom to clean that up? Sure thing. We'll be back in five. I don't see a broom. Hmm, how strange. All of your brooms are missing? I wonder who could have done such a diabolical thing. <laughs> Fine. I'm about done with this dude. He ain't even able. He's just corny. That orb is making Steve crazy. I mean, look at his face. How do we get rid of him? I got something about my wizard sleeve. I don't, I don't think that means what you think it does. What I'm trying to say is I have a plan. Hey, we're back in three, two. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. I'd like to apologize to our representatives from the Invisible Students Awareness Club. We're supposed to be our next guest, but let's face it, I mean. Being invisible at all doesn't exactly make for the best television. Carla, why do we book the invisible people? Why have people you can't see on a television show? It's crazy! She was sitting here the whole time. And she's a big fan of yours. At least she was. <laughs> My bad. Let's hop to a commercial. Sorry. Coming up on this week's episode of Cauldrons of Desire. I didn't think you'd come. Well, I thought you'd be cowering in the shadows, Dorpheus. No one cowers for you, Scremlin, except maybe your reflection in the looking glass. Save your barbed words, you tattered windsock. Malagong shall be accompanying me to the pool of romantic reflections, and that's just the way it is. I asked Malagong to accompany me to the pool of romantic reflections over a month ago. Things change, bro. You can't reserve her like a tome in the library of spells. You can't swoop in like a carry-on hungry jackal and pick apart the bones of my romance, bro! Good suitors, please rest your wands. Malagong. Are you ready to accompany me, my sweet? The pool of romantic reflections awaits us, dear angel. I'm afraid I won't be accompanying either of you to the pool of romantic reflections. I'm going with someone else. A third suitor in our midst? I'll turn him to ash. I'll trap his soul in a cave of ice. There is no he. <gasps> I'm bringing my gill friend. <laughs> Welcome back. Mike, I believe you said that we had a change of plans. I did indeed. 
I have a surprise last minute guest that I think a lot of you might be interested to meet. Not me. I'm not interested. Boring. If you spend any time on campus, whether it's sitting outside with a spell study group or waiting to get your broom tuned up over near the student union, you have to have seen this guy sitting on that bench near the edge of campus feeding the morning bats. And just like me, you've probably wondered what his deal was. Well, wonder no more because I've brought him here to talk to us. Please welcome the oldest and wisest wizard here at East Gatewood, ladies and gentlemen, Malvazar. <laughs> Malvazar. Yes. Oh, Malvazar, you can have my chair. <laughs> Hello. Welcome. Thank you for coming, Sir Melvazar. It's an honor to have you here. I have some very specific questions for you, but first... I, I wear a diaper. That's cool. I mean, we've all worn them, right? When I was very small, I remember my aunt. She was the most feared crone in the North Woods. Smart as a whip. I remember, what do I remember? Oh yes. Oh yes. What? Your aunt. You know her? She was a legend. <laughs> I feed blood sausage to the morning oh, bats. No. They love the taste. It drives them crazy. Uh, uh, I, I have a question for oh. you. Yes. The diaper. No, not the diaper. Why do you keep talking about a diaper? My aunt turned my Uncle Jason, a boring mortal, into a bar of soap. A talking bar of soap, to be exact. He lived in the tub and screamed all day and night. I avoided the bathroom for years. Oh, so that's why you wear a diaper? That's why I wear a diaper! That's cool. Are we sure this is the wisest wizard on campus? The registrar holds the key. Oh, get your hands off of her, man. What's wrong with you? And what key? What are you talking about? I think I said I have to pee. No, he said the registrar holds the key. Can I pee? Oh, God. <gasps> I think he's peeing out of his heart. Uh, Carla, I think he just died. That, that was me. Yeah, I did that. You know, I'm pretty positive I did that. Yep, the old dead wizard prank, a Steve classic. Ronnie, call the health center stat. <clears throat> no, I think it's too late for that. Guys, don't worry. We can edit him out. Ugh, this guy's lifeless. I think he's got something in his wizard sleeve here, though. <laughs> can somebody explain this wizard sleeve thing to me, please? Cut. The wizard. 